Hi! Welcome to, um, could be Somnet. These are ideas for me. Josh, you can, um, to have this become a Somnet web chapter, which there were very few of those. You could have it be a That Christian Show web chapter. Again, very few of those. Um, because we killed off the public access shows, I wouldn't put it as an unnamed zine because now the unnamed zine can truly be what you've always wanted it to be. Um, so, <clears throat> with that in mind, uh, welcome to Somnet or That Christian Show, depending on which one. I decided at the time to put this under. <clears throat> this is what I'm now calling um, uh, video bows or video devotionals. <clears throat> yes, I'm in the bathroom. Yes, the camera is upside down. But the only reason for that is I just got myself um, <clears throat> um, I forget what it's called. It's like this tripod that um, has three legs, but they're all like um, circular jointed with rubber um, grips and stuff. Basically the camera is hanging upside down from the towel rack in the bathroom. Um, I'm just trying to exploit different ways of, um, you know, positioning the camera. Um, I originally wanted it up on the shower rack, curtain rack over there, but it wasn't even getting a, a good enough shot. Um, the towel rack seemed to be the best one, but it rolled over so that the camera was upside down. Um, so anyway, on YouTube there are, and I'm not even like saying this like to the rest of the world really, um, on YouTube there are a lot of videos of people spending a lot of time doing a lot of different things in the bathroom. Seems to be a popular room for people to film from. I don't even think it's because of the bathroom humor that's possible in there. I think it's simply because people are actually alone. Um, and in a fairly acoustically good sounding room. Um, and they're not bothered. And, and usually people's deepest thoughts and best um, explanations for things usually come from while they're in the bathroom. So um, I have my Thompson's Chain Reference Study Bible with me. Um, I think it was given to me as a birthday present by my wife a long, 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 long time ago. I have no idea. I can't entirely remember how long I've had it. Um, but one of the things that I've never exploited in, in this particular Bible are the numerous amounts of um, study materials and references and all that that are in it. And So what I was going to do today was rather than read the regular chapters, which I can do another time, um, What I was going to do was just read through some of the um, appendixes that were in the back. Um, those that I found particularly of interest to anyone who's watching this. Um, and then title it, you know, to whatever. Um, I guess an idea would be to go all um, massive amounts of effects whenever I do something like that, you know, the leaning forward to piss face. Explaining this right now, um, that can be massively effectualized. Um, and then we can go back to the normal stuff or stay with it. Every, every time, it's like a bathroom reading drinking game, every time I do something bathroom related, like for the main reason that I'm in here, the effects can change. And I guess we can see just how many of these different recorded effects changes there can be in one devotional segment. Um, but as always, I mean, uh, you know, a segment is, is, is up to 10 minutes long, and if possible, less than 10 minutes long. That's only for YouTube's guidelines, but um, in reality. Okay, so what I'm going to read to you is some of the um, editorial notes um, that are in the back of this Bible. And actually, it's quite thick. I mean, everything 
from this side, right here, is the Bible part. Everything over here is the commentary, editorial, study Bible, dictionary, um, concordance, um, and a couple of other um, really good uh, reference materials to help you understand different parts of the history and the um, application of the Word of God. Um, and so that's where we're starting off from, basically. And if I find it interesting, you're going to hear about it. All right, Principles of Bible Study by the author of the Chain Reference System. The spiritual attitude is indispensable. <coughs> it is of the utmost importance that the reader or student should approach the Bible in a reverent attitude, regarding it as the inspired Word of God and not as ordinary literature. It may be read or studied in the same spirit as a volume of Milton, Shakespeare, or as an historical work, and it will be found interesting and profitable. But the merely literary student or critic, however scholarly and persistent he may be, will never discover its choicest treasures. Paul says, The man without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, and he cannot understand them, because they are spiritually discerned. See Spiritual Discernment, 1007. Not yet, just yet. Conscious Need Essential The Bible should be studied as eagerly as a hungry man seeks for food. The formal reading of a portion of the word each day may have some value as a religious exercise, but for full benefit to be received from its truths, they must be appropriated to personal needs. The delivery man may handle a thousand loaves of bread a day and yet go, hung, go home hungry at night. So the Bible reader may peruse large portions of the word of God with little profit unless he makes it his own by personal appropriation and feeds on it. See, word is food, 416. First-hand knowledge best. Many Christians are satisfied to receive all their truth filtered through the mind of a teacher, minister, or commentator, seldom or never going to the book of books for independent study. They, are inevitably, they inevitably become mere echoes of the opinions of others. They are not grounded in the truth and are liable to be carried about with every wind of doctrine. It is, great, it is a great day for a little child when he learns to feed himself. So it becomes a new era in a believer's life when he forms the habit of going daily to the original source of spiritual truth for his own personal nourishment. Study the Bible as a traveler who seeks to obtain a thorough and experiential knowledge of a new country. Go over its vast fields of truth, descend into its valleys, climb its mountains of vision, follow its streams of inspiration, enter its halls of instruction, visit its wondrous portrait galleries. Remember that many doctrinal errors have grown out of a lack of spiritual perspective or a narrow view of scriptural truth. The Savior says, You are in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God. See Ignorance of Word, 432. Seek to understand the deep things of God. Study the Word as a miner digs for gold, or as a diver plunges into the depths of, of the sea for pearls. Most great truths do not lie on the surface. They must be brought up into the light by pa patient toil. See Study the Word, 428. Um, if we're too close to 10 minutes, cut it. Otherwise, if we've got a little more than half way to go, I'll read the next part. Otherwise, cut it.